Hi uh, everyone, I've uh, been playing around a little bit. I've got a Hornby signal here with a point motor attached, a Hornby point motor. It's got the adapter base. You can pick these up really cheaply. Um, this signal has been wired. If you follow the green and black wires through to Digitrax uh, DS64 as a solenoid activated device so it's thinking it's a point motor and I have DCC concepts uh, point control for this point and over here I have my Digitrax Zephyr controller DCS50 over here I have a computer uh, with running on it railroad automation RR automation by uh, Pekeli, if I've pronounced that correctly, my apologies if not. Um, and what I'm doing is uh, running a route. So um, I have a loco on the line at the moment, and it's very simple. I've got some scripts set up, but if I set the route, basically the signal, you heard a click then, is set to go, and the loco, which at the moment is over there somewhere, starts off and it runs around. Uh, I've got no block detection in place yet. I'm hoping to do that soon. The throttle is on the screen here. This is a software throttle. There is also this throttle here so I could control it from here. I can dial in loco 25 and it asks me to steal and so I just say loco and I've stolen the loco and this is on stop, so the loco has stopped. But if I put it forward and carry on. Sorry, we're running in reverse at the moment. I'll send it back the other way. Uh, there's the engine over there at Luxullion. Sorry, the focus is uh, tricky in the dark. Anyway, that's where Luxullion will be. You know, there isn't a good bridge at Luxullion. It's going to run round and I will now uh, the signal is is go but i'm going to just switch the signal to stop even though the zephyr in theory is controlling the train um, if i just click on clear route the signal returns to stop and the engine is stopping the throttle here is winding down and the loco is stopping Okay, uh, now because the, the, this has actually got control and we haven't relinquished control, this is now trying to operate the train again. It's taking control again. So you get a momentary control by the software uh, which is then taken back over by the controller. So I've got to look at how to manage this a bit better. But if you want to relinquish control, you do Loco 25 and then exit and that, uh, that that clears the loco from the slot. There's slots which are used to manage this. Now at the moment I'm going to click clear route and the signal is at danger and the loco is approaching and the throttle has been returned to zero. I haven't got block set up so it's, uh, it's not stopped quite in the right place there. Um, I'll just demonstrate I'm just stealing the loco again. I'm just going to see the throttle on here. I'll just turn the throttle on the Digitrax controller. Immediately follows. Because it's all connected through loco nets. Uh, I'll bring it a bit closer to the... Um... Right, just want to stop it there somewhere. Put my finger on it. Okay, now you can see there's a stop signal. I'll try to do this so you can watch the signal change and see the loco pull away. Get to the right angle. I'm going to literally click on set route on the computer and you'll see what happens. Signal goes to clear and the loco brakes release and off it goes. Now if I on the screen 
trip lock sensor on is showing occupancy when I've got the occupancy detectors in that will be saying that loco over there is in that block I hope you've enjoyed this thank you very much for watching